we may sometimes need to make bulk changes in Excel. For example, we want to change or replace every cell where the word ebook appears and we may want to replace it with digital book. So these kinds of changes come across quite regularly when you're working in Excel and Excel provides very easy ways to actually execute such operations. In this video, we will learn how to do it. So now let's say I have the cell C10 selected some random cell and let us select the menu option here, find and select and click find. This will open up a dialog box and you can also use the keyboard shortcut Control F to open up this dialog box. Let's try that. I'm going to close this for now and let me op use the keyboard shortcut Control F and that also will open up this dialog box just called the find and replace. Now we can type in what we want to search for and let's say I want to search for book and I'm going to type in book and since we had only selected cell C10, only one cell, when I click find, Excel is going to search in the entire worksheet. And I'm going to click find all and Excel will give me a list of all the cells where Excel found the word book. For example, in this workbook that we have now in sheet one, which is our current sheet, in cell A1, it found the word book. And the value there is in Zara Bookstore Books. It also found in cell B2, the value book name, as you can see here. And similarly, it has found the word book in many other cells. And if I want to go to any specific cell, I can just click here directly and Excel will move me to cell D16 now and I can click here D13 and Excel will move to D13. So we clicked find all to list all these values, but if we select find next, Excel will go one by one and it will go to the next available cell where this match for this keyword happened. Now, instead of the word B-O-O-K in lowercase or small letters, let me type B-O-O-K in uppercase or capital letters and let me click find all. And Excel is still saying I found in A1 in Zara Bookstore, which is true because there is capital B-O-O-K, but it is also selecting B2 cell where it is actually not in uppercase. It's capital B O O K in small letters, but Excel is saying that is a match. And this is happening because Excel is not looking for case matches. So we can control that by using this options menu here. And as you click options, you see more options show up. And here, if I say match case, and then say find all, Excel say is now saying I only found one match and that is in this cell A1. All the other cells do not have the word B-O-O-K in capital letters. So this option controls whether Excel should be matching the value with the case that you have entered. Now let me uncheck this box and now let me check this checkbox, which is match entire cell contents and click find all. Excel is now saying I cannot find the data that I'm searching for. And that's because this option is telling Excel that only select the cells where the entire content is book. And you can see here everywhere where we have the word book, it is actually part of the cell it is not the entire content of a cell. So it always is in Zara bookstore or book name, or we have it as ebook, but we never have it as just book in the entire cell. And that's why Excel cannot find it. So this option allows you to search 
where it is looking for the entire content of the cell should be matching what you type here. Let me go back and uncheck this. Excel doesn't need to match the case and Excel doesn't need to match the entire cell contents. And now by default so far, Excel has been searching in the entire worksheet, but sometimes we have the need to only search within some specific cells. In that case, let's for example say I want only, I want Excel to only search for the word book in the data set we have here and now when I click find all, Excel is only going to look within the selection and Excel did not find A1 as a match because we did not select A1 before we clicked find all. So Excel ignored the cell A1. So you should be aware that you can control cells in which Excel should be searching for, and that can be very, very handy when you have a large data set. Another thing to keep in mind is that as soon as I perform the find all, or even if it's find next, Excel automatically loses the selection. Excel will now search in the entire worksheet. Let's try again. I'm going to click find all. And now Excel is saying I found something in cell A1. As soon as we performed one operation for find all or find next, it, our Excel will go back to searching the entire worksheet. Now let's see how we can use the replace option to replace the word book with something else. I'm going to click on replace. And now you will see that now I have a a placeholder where I can type in what I want book to be replaced. So let's say I want to replace this with digital book. And let me choose, for example, ebook. E hyphen book, I want that to be replaced with digital space book. So if this is the case, and I can now say find all, and Excel will go and find the ebook. And it is now saying there are five cells where I found E hyphen book. And if I click replace, since D13 is now selected, Excel will replace ebook with the digital book as I typed here. And if I want Excel to replace in all the cells, then I can click replace all. And you can see here, Excel has replaced all the cells now with digital book and Excel is also giving me a message saying it's completed its search and has made four replacements. So if you would like to keep it, click OK. Now we were able to find the cells where this word was and replaced it with these two words very, very easily and quickly. So one thing to be careful about is whenever you're replacing, please make sure that you see which cells are you replacing and make sure that that's exactly what you want to do. Sometimes when you have a lot of cells, you may by mistake replace a cell which you don't want to replace. So please pay close attention when you're using the find and replace. Now you can not only search for words, actually you can find formats. So for example, Let's say we want to select all the cells or find all the cells where we have the rupee as the currency format. So I'm going to do find what, I'm going to choose format and I will choose the currency India, English India and I'm going to choose okay. And I don't want to search for ebook as a text. All I want to do is to match by the format and I want to replace it with a different format. But before that, now that we have selected the format, let's click find all. Excel is now found all these cells where I have the currency English India format. Now if let's say I want to replace all of this with a different currency format, let's say currency something else and let's just choose dollar and click OK. And now if I say replace, you can see here that the first value has been changed to the dollar currency. And if I want all of them to be replaced, I can just choose replace all. 
Excel will tell me that it's completed. It's searched and made 14 replacements. And if I click OK, all of these cells have now changed the formats. So this is something which is very, very convenient if especially your data is spread throughout the worksheet and if you want to change the currency from one to another, you can also use it to change formats from anything to anything. This is a very, very quick and easy and also very accurate method of changing all the cells format. Now let me close it and let me undo those changes because I don't want to change the currency. I also don't want to do make any changes to my book type as well. 